what's going on guys welcome back to the channel well this morning will be the first morning that i cook out here at the off-grid cabin come on mountain come on this morning we're going to do some ribeyes Woo! come on with some ribeyes we're going to do some eggs we're going to do some of these little potatoes right here chop up a little bit of onions on the griddle and have a real good breakfast for the first breakfast on come on mountain Pretty excited about it, so let's go ahead and get things prepped up. I've already got the griddle going. Get the potatoes on. They're going to take a little bit longer than the rest of this stuff. The steaks are only going to take just a little while. So we'll get the potatoes seasoned up with some olive oil, some salt and pepper. Get them on the griddle. Go ahead and get them start browning up. And then we'll go ahead and add the rest of them. What we're going to do is chop the taters up a little bit. We're going to toss them in some olive oil. The only reason I'm chopping them up, they are the little baby ones, just to make them cook a little faster on the hibachi. They're the little mini taters. Probably only going to cut them in half. That should do the trick. It is just me out here, so I won't cook a lot. Although I do have some friends coming over tonight for the first Fired Up Friday at Come On Mountain. Looking forward to it. We're gonna do milk gatos. You know, kind of like you go to one of those uh, steakhouses, the Chinese steakhouses, and they cook in front of you with the fried rice and the chicken and all of that. Yeah, baby, that's what the milkman's getting down on tonight. But I'm pretty excited about this ribeye though, come on. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you don't know the backstory of this, I bought 20 acres in the mountains of Arkansas with an abandoned log cabin. Tuesday at 8.30 in the morning, I actually closed on it and finalized the deal. So I've been staying out here for two days now. And I tell you what, it is gorgeous out here, gorgeous. There will be future videos to come of the cabin and the property and all the stuff that I plan on doing with it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you subscribe hit the like button, smash that notification bell, and set it to get all the notifications because we got some big adventures coming here on Come On Homestead. And I'm bringing you guys along. All right, let's go ahead and put a little garlic, salt, and pepper. I have to open everything because I had to buy everything when I came out here. Oh, yeah. A little garlic. A little Himalayan pink salt and a little bit of black pepper. Okay, a little more black pepper, come on. <laughs> I like black pepper. Alright, then we're going to use some of this extra virgin olive oil. Whenever you're getting olive oil, guys, make sure you get the first cold pressed. Always. It is definitely a lot better. Oh yeah, put a little bit of that on there. Nice, nice. Now we're gonna toss it a little bit. Move this knife so I don't cut this up. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're in there like swimwear. This is gonna be a good first breakfast here on the cabin. I'm excited about it. And of course we got the monster milk, come on. All right, while we wait on those potatoes to start cooking, let's go ahead and prep our steak. How do you like your steak? I like a little salt and pepper, and a lot of times I put other types of seasoning in it, but we're going off grid today, so I'm gonna do a little salt and pepper and just a little bit of garlic. Not much. Just a touch of garlic. Rub it in a little bit. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. I'm actually gonna drizzle just a little bit of this olive oil on here. Mm. Just to lock in those seasonings. <laughs> it's gonna be some good stuff guys. It's gonna be some good stuff mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Come on. This is going to be so good, it's going to make you want to go slap your mama for never making it for you. Come on. I'm going to tell you, can you believe that in the last year, it hasn't even been quite been a year yet since I moved to Texas, that I am I have moved to three states in one year. I started out in Florida. I moved to Texas for nine months. And on April the 1st, that's right, y'all heard it here first. April the 1st, I'll be starting my new job here in Arkansas. And I moved to Texas on May the 11th of last year. So that's three states in one year. <laughs> Milkman's been on the move. But I'm going to tell you, everything happens for a reason. And it all led me to be right here, right now. And I couldn't be more excited. This is honestly my childhood dream is to have a cabin in the woods, in the mountains. Man, hard work. You know, I've been through a lot here in the last uh, couple of years. I went through a divorce. I got the ninja and uh, switched jobs. Switch jobs, switch states. Been through a lot. Went through a lot emotionally, physically. But it all led me to here and I couldn't be happier. Everything happens for a reason, guys. And when you think things are dim and dark, hey, just keep on keeping on. Come on. Ooh, them taters are starting to get crispy. Man, you gotta love waking up in the morning in the country, cooking some steak, taters, and eggs, getting ready for the day. I'm gonna film another video later on today taking y'all around the property. Kinda do a little exploring. Maybe go see the creek, the pond, and see what else we can find out here because I haven't even came close to exploring all this property yet. So looking forward to it and gonna bring you guys along. Let's go ahead and go check on the food because man, I'm getting hungry, come on. Let's go ahead and drizzle a little bit more of this olive oil on the taters. All right, let me ask you something, guys. I got a question for you while we're sitting here waiting on these taters to cook. What was your childhood dream whenever you was young or where you wanted to end up? Was it a beach in Costa Rica? Was it traveling around in a van or a schoolie? Exploring? Or was it like me, a cabin in the mountains in the middle of nowhere? Or was it city life? Let me know. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys' dreams were. And did you actually accomplish that dream or are you working towards it? Because it's never too late, guys. It's never too late. Now let's get back to these groceries because I believe it's time to put the steak on. Come on. Now we're going to put the ribeye on there. Listen to this sizzle. Ooh. Boy, that's going to be some fine eating. It shouldn't take too long for the ribeye. I like mine medium rare. How do you like your steak? I'm not going to lie, though, this is the first time that I've ever tried to cook a steak on the griddle. So, this is a new one for both of us. Typically, I do it on the grill. But, I think it's going to work out. And I'm always going to make it do what it do. Come on. <laughs> Man, it is smelling so good. I wish y'all had smell-o-vision. This junk smells like fire. Those potatoes have softened up nicely. They're getting close to being done. I think I timed it just right. <laughs> Probably won't happen again, but it did this time, and I'll take it. Woo, she's popping locking now. You know what I forgot? <laughs> I forgot to cut the onions up in the taters, but that's okay. 
Put a little Heinz 57 on there for the steak. I know, I know, a lot of people don't use it, but I like it. One of my favorite hot sauces, a little tapatio. A tapatioca? <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's tapatia, I think, or something like that. Put a little bit of that on the taters. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, let's dig in and try it out, guys. See what it tastes like. See, see what the first meal, see what the first meal on Come On Mountain is. Come on. Mmm. <laughs> Tatoes are good. See what the steak looks like. See if I got it my medium rare. See if I'm just as good on a griddle as I am a grill. There you go, guys. Bam. Medium rare. Just like I like it. Ooh, and she's tender. Mmm. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. Last but not least, let's try the eggs. It's a little hot. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine meal, guys. Fine meal. Perfect first breakfast for Come On Mountain. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along for the first breakfast here at Come On Mountain at the abandoned cabin. <laughs> it ain't abandoned anymore. We got a lot of big things coming up here on this channel. We got a cabin to renovate. We got a homestead to build and an Airbnb to build. If you ain't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure that you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss none of the videos coming up. Make sure that you hit the like button on this video. Leave a comment. I love to hear from you guys. And be on the lookout for some more amazing adventures here at Come On Mountain. So until we see each other again, guys, come on. Let's go on an adventure.